Hi, it's uh, Kiffin Lebates here, and this is going to be the first of three videos in which I try to get you to the point where you understand what uh, mining in proof of work is actually all about at a nuts and bolts level. Um, I need to break it up into three videos because there's quite a few concepts that you need to get your head around. Um, so when you read about mining in uh, articles, invariably they describe it as machines humming away solving a complicated cryptographic puzzle. Um, so here I'm going to try and explain eventually what that complicated cryptographic puzzle is and hopefully by the time we get to the end of this series uh, it won't seem so complicated anymore. So uh, let's get started with the first concept that you need to understand, um, which is what is a cryptographic hash function. And to begin with, in this video I'm going to explain what a function is and then what a hash function is. So a function is a machine or a computer procedure or a mathematical algorithm that takes an input and gives you an output. So a real life example of a function would be a bakery. It takes as its input flour, water and salt and a yeast and as its output it gives bread. Um, there you see input, function, output. Um, so with that concept hopefully understood, um, let's move on to a hash function. And uh, hash functions originally came out of trying to index things. So you can kind of think of a hash function as taking, in the real world, as its input a, a book, for example, and outputting a fixed length string or value related to that book that you put in. So very useful to librarians to have a hash function. Um, and actually, we do have an indexing system for books. Uh, it's known as ISBN, the International Standard Book Number. Um, but ISBN is not a hash function because the way that ISBNs work is there is already a list of ISBNs and every time a new book is published, they take the next unused number and stick it on the book. So the output doesn't actually relate to the input. They don't do something with the data of the book. So a better um, automated indexing system for the publishing world would be as if they took the PDF of the book, put it into a computer function, and the computer function did some munging or hashing of the data and uh, output a fixed length number. Um, now, a very simple hash function would be that you put in the book and it takes the first 32 characters of the title. Um, but the problem there is that that hash function uh, gives you something called collisions, which is if you have two books, one written by J.R.R. Tolkien called The Lord of the Rings and the other one written by me, also called The Lord of the Rings, uh, but the stories in them were two totally different uh, stories, they would still both get the same output because they have the same title. So what you want for your hash function is for it to use all the data in the um, uh, book in order to generate the output. And that way you would even pick up the differences between different editions of books. So anyway, there you go. That's a summary of functions and hash functions. And in the next video, I'll discuss what cryptographic hash functions are. Bye for now.